So one final point to discuss um, is how sort of conditional probabilities uh, can come up um, in sort of statistical analysis. Uh, this is just at a philosophical level. There's lots of discussions that one can have about um, statistics and in the next semester for you at Manchester, um, there's a whole course on statistics itself. Okay, so I'm not going to go into statistics in too much detail, um, but I want to discuss sort of the differences between two, the two sort of main branches of statistics we call classical statistics, which is sometimes called frequentist statistics and Bayesian statistics. I'm going to discuss a little bit where conditional probabilities come in. Okay. I'm going to tell you that I have a biased coin. Okay. And it's biased with parameter theta. So it's biased so that theta is the probability of heads. I'm not going to tell you which way around this is, but I'm going to tell you that theta is either three quarters or one quarter. Okay, so it's biased, so it's got a one quarter chance of getting heads, or it's biased, so there's a three quarter chance of getting heads. But I haven't told you which way around it is. Okay, and I'm going to give you the coin, and then it's your job to determine what the bias is. Is it three quarters heads or one quarter head? Okay, and let's suppose you throw the coin. three times and get three heads. Okay. So the question is, from this data, how can we determine If theta, the true underlying bias of the coin, is three quarters or one quarter. Okay. Now, it's not a fully defined question. This it's a bit like at the beginning of the course we discuss this sort of. You know, it depends on how we specify the problem, um, and there are different approaches to this. And so, um, there's the classical statistical approach, which I'll now explain. basically says we look at the probabilities of the two outcomes occurring. So what's the probability that we get heads, heads, heads? So we threw the coin three times and got three heads. So what's the probability of getting heads, 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 given the true underlying parameter was three quarters? Okay, well, it's three quarters times three quarters times three quarters. Given the underlying parameter was three quarters, we've got three independent coin throws, each having a chance of three quarters of giving heads. So we're going to get three divided by four to the power of three. Okay. And then in classical statistics, what we do is we compare this with the probability under the other parameter choice, okay, which is going to give me one quarter the power of three, and then choose the one that gives it the most likely, gives it the highest likelihood. Okay, so in particular, the parameter theta equals three quarters gives the maximum 
likelihood for the data. Okay, so we go with theta hat equal three quarters. Okay, so given the data that I've been given so far, the parameter that gives the most likely chance of that data occurring is three quarters. And so a classical statistician would say that's sort of the correct choice. Okay, there's various tests around it that you can do to check for things, uh, um, lots of tests, but um, that's sort of the nuts and bolts of the approach. You essentially take your probability distribution for the different parameter choices and then maximize it over the parameter choices. Okay, so in classical statistics, there's a lot of, in addition, um, mm, to probability, there's a lot of optimization involved in trying to calculate these sorts of parameters. Okay. A further approach would be a sort of Bayesian statistical approach. Here, okay, what we do is we actually place a sort of probability distribution on our sort of confidence over the two different outcomes. So we could say, well, there are two things that can happen. Either theta is equal to three quarters or theta equals one quarter. And I haven't told you either way. So it seems at this point in time, without having done any experiments and gotten the heads heads here, probably the best you can say without knowing anything about the data is that, well, the probability that this underlying parameter is equal to three quarters is a half. And the probability that theta equals one quarter equals a half. Okay, so saying that I sort of don't know whether the underlying bias of this coin is three quarters or one quarter. Well, since I don't know either way, let's just say it's 50-50, okay? All right. Now this is called our prior distribution for theta, All right? What we want to do is update our information about these distributions, okay, given the data that we've been given so far. So, so we and we want to calculate the probability that theta equals three quarters, given I observed heads, 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 and I want to calculate the probability the theta equals one quarter given I had heads, heads, heads. Okay? So it's a very different approach. Here we sort of give one answer. It's the maximum likelihood estimator. Here in Bayesian statistics we don't give one answer. We just say, well, this is what I think the this is the probability, this is the likelihood I think this is the parameter I, I that's actually uh, throwing the coin. And this is the parameter that and this is the likelihood I think it's this parameter. That's right, it should be just a quick correction. That should be one quarter here. Okay, so you don't give a certain answer and then qualify it with tests. But instead what you do is you give a distribution, okay, the probability that this is the correct uh, answer, okay, and then discuss your confidence about that through these probabilities, okay? So how do we go about doing this calculation? Well, um, we do it with Bayes' formula, okay? So we calculate these with Bayes' formula. Okay, so specifically the probability that theta equals three quarters, given heads, 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 okay, 
is the probability of heads, heads, heads divided by the probability that c3 equals 3 quarters, okay, then times the probability that theta equals 3 quarters divided by the probability of heads, 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 okay? So remember the Bayes formula or Bayes rule was up here, okay? So we're just using this formula now. All right. So I can calculate this, okay? This is just as it was before. It's probability of a heads is three quarters and the three independent coin throws. So it's three quarters to the power of three. And I've made an assumption, okay, in advance. I think without any data, the probability that theta equals three quarters is a half, okay? So the one thing that's remaining that's left for me to calculate is the probability of heads heads, okay? And I can calculate the probability of heads heads, okay, again, using one of my conditional probability formulas from before, okay. The probability of heads heads equals the probability of heads heads given theta equals three quarters times the probability that theta equals three quarters plus the probability of heads 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 given theta isn't three quarters. And in particular, that means that theta must be one quarter times the probability that theta is equal to one quarter. Okay? So what I've done here is I've used my conditional probability formula from here. Okay? Right. So, again, I can calculate all the quantities inside of here. All right. So the probability of heads, heads, heads is three quarters to the power of three. And the probability of this in advance is a half. The probability of this is one quarter to the power of three, because we're assuming now, given that the bias of the coin is one quarter, the probability of heads, heads, heads is one quarter to the power of three. And I thought there was a half probability of this occurring, okay? And we'll do the calculation for this. This is going to work out at being 28 divided by 128, apparently. Okay? So then... What we find is that the probability of heads heads, heads, given theta equals three quarters, okay, is given up here, okay, so we've calculated this guy, this is 28 divided by 128, okay, if we do the calculations for this guy, we're going to end up with this being 27 divided by 100. 27 divided by 28 and the probability of heads, heads, heads given theta equals one quarter. So if I did the calculation for that here, one more point, it's just this term here, I'm going to get one divided by 28. All right. So we say that, oh, <laughs> sorry, Mike, I'm just noticing bad mistakes. I've got these the wrong way around, sorry. So it should be probability that theta equals three quarters given heads, heads, heads. And it should be the probability that theta equals one quarter given heads, heads, heads. So the likelihood that theta equals three quarters given heads, heads, heads is, well, we think it's 27 out of 28, and here it's 1 in 28. All right? 
So then we essentially update our confidence about the true underlying parameter given what we've seen so far at the data. All right? Okay. So that is a different kind of philosophical approach to the classical statistical approach. Um, so the difficulty with the classical approach is obviously we need to calculate this maximum likelihood estimator, and that involves some optimization. The difficulty with the Bayesian approach is we have to calculate this term here, right? And this is just for two outcomes in terms of theta. So it could either be three quarters or one quarter. But this, if we we're going to apply the same rule as this, but where theta could take several different values, we'd have to have several different terms here, okay? And sometimes doing those sorts of calculations numerically can be, uh, uh, sorry, mathematically can be a little bit difficult. And so we have to come up with a numerical scheme for calculating this probability here. Okay, and there are special uh, algorithms, okay, sometimes called Monte Carlo or Markov chain Monte Carlo algorithms, which are used for calculating these coefficients in Bayesian statistics. Okay, so we need a computer in both cases, really, to get fully leveraged these techniques. Okay, right. That's enough about 